Ladies and gentlemen, this is another tutorial by Hunter McDowell. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a visualizer in iTunes. I don't know about PC users if you can do this, but for Mac users, if you do visualizer, it'll have about five visualizers. Now I have six because I downloaded G4, so you can download that if you just search on the Google, Google web. Now. I'm already doing a screen recording because this is one thing you want to do if you're going to put it into iMovie. But I'll just tr kind of show you how to do a screen recording. New screen recording. You Make sure you have QuickTime Player opened. You click on File and you either do the up arrow, Command and N, or just click on New Screen Recording. That'll pop up something and it'll show a red button. Now if you want to click Sound, it'll be this little arrow and it'll show built-in microphone. You click that. And then you click your record. Okay. Now, you can do Command T. You should always, though, play your music first. Do Command T. And here's a visualizer. I'll show you the different types of visualizers for Mac users. This is a cool one. And they do it at a different type of sound. Classic visualizer is also cool. Well, kind of. It just shows the app. There's GeForce, but I won't show you that so that you can be surprised if you download it. Jelly, which I already showed you, is like a jellyfish. Blade. It's kind of like a, I don't know, some kind of cool thing. The last one is sticks. It just shows the stick thing floating around. In order to get more iTunes or iMovie um, tutorials, I want you to rate, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe to me. And get your friends to subscribe to you. If you do comments, do not say anything bad. Nice things for me. Do not swear, too. Thank you, and goodbye.